Uh, it's a pleasure having you here at um, the ISNTD D3 event. Um, I just want to start off by saying that the um, laboratory suitcase is a very innovative idea, it's very original. We just wanted to start off by asking you about your experience in using it and uh, why you think it's a revolutionary point of care um, diagnostic tool. Yeah, I think that that that, that the lab in suitcase it's something in between. So it's not it's not it's not like you have a complete lab and you're working inside a complete lab and 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 you and you do some point of care. But it's something in between. Something that if you want to have an outbreak, you just directly take the suitcase and go there and do it directly, very efficiently and with the same efficiency like a laboratory stuff. You know, so it's it's something not a point of simple point of care and not a complete lab, something in between. So it's fill the this gap to react fast to outbreaks. Awesome. Um, you mentioned that it's used for leishmania. We we wanted to know if there's a potential for use in other parasitic diseases like uh, schistosomiasis, uh, onchocerciasis. You you also mentioned that it can be used for viruses. Well, how do you think um, you can implement its use for all entities? So the thing that we um, uh, actually I'm a virologist, so we, we, we actually we started using this for viruses. We have it for for dengue, chikungunya, Zika virus, and also for uh, for uh, Marburg virus, Rift Valley, and other and other magic fever viruses. In addition, we have it for parasites, but you know it's open system. Everybody can 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 produce its own assay and use it in the suitcase lab. You know, so it's not it's not that I'm developing everything. You no, know? the system is there, and everybody can develop his, its own test and implement it in the suitcase lab. So uh, we know that you, uh, because you guys have um, you designed the idea. You guys are like the you know the, the masters at understanding on how to use it, the the construction of it, and everything. Where, you have many partners. Where do you think the business can go in terms of po developing new partners and? Uh, progressing the uh, idea, and we also mentioned that you didn't, um, you haven't painted it or the idea or anything like that. It's still open source. How why have you used this approach for the the business model? So I think it's that as a as a university, we have we 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 publish the data and then we publish the design, publish how to do it yourself. It's 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 very it's open for everybody to look into our publication and do it himself. Uh, the, the thing, the idea is more inspiring the people. To, to just go forward and say, okay, I have this system, I'm working with this system, let's, let's, uh, let's uh, have our system also in the same like a suitcase that we can take it everywhere with us. So it's more open and then if, you, if we come to business, the, our problem is that always we don't have fund to go forward to do clinical trials or anything and funding is a very big problem for us because it's not easy to get money for something that's neglected. If it's neglected, why you pay for it? We don't need to pay for it. But we, we have a lot of people interested like Work and Trust and, and, and um, the TDR, but still we need, we need support from more funding agency to support the work for clinical trials to really make it approved for, for diagnostic and uh, for, for, for patient had neglected tropical disease. Um, we see you've collaborated with, the, um, you, you mentioned in the, the lecture, you've collaborated with a lot of people. Um, we wanted to ask about who you think is the next the next person to collaborate with, what would be the best uh, for the direction of your idea um, and also for the funding? Uh, who, who, do you have anybody in particular on your mind that you think would be beneficial for the business? I think, I think there, are, uh, there are two, two, I think two big institutions if we really have an, 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 an access to, we can really have forward the stuff, find and WHO for example, they are really doing a lot of stuff in diagnostic, so these two big Institution, they need to really get interested to support the, the idea and to to bring it forward. But you know, as a scientific institute, we still we are okay. We have it. We have a good sign. Uh, we publish a manuscript. It's very nice. But still, we this gap of of bringing the stuff into market is very difficult. And you also mentioned that um, the suitcase is stable at different temperatures, especially in um, mm -hmm. the endemic countries where the NTDs are, 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 are rife, where there's a, the temperature is usually quite hot. Have you considered, as, as well as in the colder climates, how the, how the suitcase can be used for, especially for, in the colder climates, we won't have um, parasites and other NTDs, but we would have viruses that um, affect, that every year affect uh, populations. How do you think the, the, the can, the, can the suitcase be developed for colder climates as well? How do you think the, you would approach that idea? 
the, the, the thing the thing is that we did we didn't we never tried for 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 minus yeah. and stuff but but we we, we 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 you know the thing is that it's it's in in, in it, it's two stuff if you are working in developing country you, what we did is that we have it as water and dust proof and 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 it's it's contained full so it's it's absorbed shocks and 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 you can easily transport it in in not 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 rice uh, nice roads and all this stuff mm -hmm. but at the end is that you have you have stuff which can really uh, do the test at 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 at, at this at diff, uh, at this high temperature because everything is stable 40 degree for up to three months you have no problem with that in developing country which is more colder the advantage of the suitcase for example at the airport if you have an Ebola case is coming or with a refugee come people coming with uh, diseases and you would like to identify this at the border but avoid bringing this stuff into the country now the suitcase is coming uh, and take place said okay now we do it at the airport so it's not a cold but it's at, at, it's, it's in, in, in in developed country which really has a has a good facility for for having a room temperature of 25 degree or something like that so we can use it at border quarantine station at airport at these countries so in developing country using a rural area in uh, uh, in developed country use it at the border at the border airports or quarantine station excellent thank you very much you're welcome you're welcome